Hey guys, it's time for another wild edibles video for you. Um, but first I wanted to bring you in my garden, which is coincidentally where I have the wild edibles at currently. But um, as you can see behind me, it's kind of a jungle in here this year. And instead of boring you with all of my excuses as to why it got this way, I'm just gonna kind of show you around and see what's going on in here, okay? So first I have my pride and joy, my big uh, bunch of kale here. I've never had kale do this well before. All these beautiful flowers here are actually radishes. I planted some icicle radishes because I thought, oh, let's try that. But um, nobody really wants to eat them, so they all bolted. But the honeybees appreciate it. Over here, I have a frame of my old um, little greenhouse and I attached some pieces of fence to it and planted my beans alongside it so that they would climb up. You can kind of see, I don't know, maybe you can, there's so many weeds out here. They are climbing up and they have blossoms on them, so hopefully we'll get some beans going here. Over here somewhere I had some cucumbers planted, but I think the chipmunks got to the seeds. I think there's a couple of little plants over there somewhere, but um, chipmunks are really bad this year and last year and they really got to a lot of my seeds before I realized it. I have some nice green peppers growing. Some very nice jalapenos growing as well. I have corn, but um, it's not doing very well. It's only about two and a half feet tall and it's got the tassels out already, so that's kind of a bust. My tomatoes are doing okay, but this is a smaller variety. Um, not getting very big, but there are tomatoes coming on, so we're looking forward to those. And now for the wild edible, this mass behind me. This is lamb's quarters. And it's also known as goosefoot because the shape of the leaf is kind of like the shape of a goose's foot. And it's also known as wild spinach. Now these are getting very, very tall. Um, they're, they've got like blossom thingies on them and they'll go to seed probably but uh, they grow anywhere from a couple inches off the ground to, you know, almost, these are almost six feet tall. So, uh, but I wanted to show you what these are so maybe you can find them around in your area. Here's a very small one growing right now. And when they're small, you can see on the backs of them, I don't know if this comes through on the camera all right, but on the backs of them, they kind of look um, powdery. There's like a waxy coating. Um, that coats the leaves, kind of protects it. And then of course these taller ones, they just seem to get taller. The leaves don't necessarily get much bigger, but um, there's just many, many more of them as the plant grows taller. Got some handy dandy notes here. Uh, some of the benefits of lamb's quarters are that they have, um, let's see, they have fiber, beta carotene, vitamin C, riboflavin, calcium, zinc, copper, manganese, potassium, magnesium, omega-3s, folic acid, and iron. So they're really um, good for you. Um, kind of comparable to what spinach would probably give you, I'm guessing. These also taste really good. I would compare it to uh, probably baby spinach. It's a very mild flavor, very easy to put into many dishes. Um, I've put it in salad, like fresh garden salad. We've also used it, I believe, on pizza. You just kind of chop it up and uh, sprinkle it on the pizza. Kind of looks like a garnish, but it's probably adding some nutrition to it as well. You can use lamb's quarters for pretty much anything that you would use spinach in. So you could put them on, put the leaves on a hamburger. You could put them chopped up in a fresh um, like pasta salad. And I think you could also probably dry these leaves and then kind of crinkle them up and use them the same way you would dried parsley, which I think that's what I'm gonna do. We have so much of it this year because I kind of let things go over in this area. But it's kind of a blessing in disguise. We have lots of this stuff and Maybe I should be just be picking this and drying it and using it throughout the year then. So that's what I think I'm gonna do with it, along with maybe adding it to some other dishes. So thanks for coming along with me today in my very overgrown garden. But anyway, I will catch you guys later and have a good summer, okay? See ya.